Okay, hey everybody. <laughs> All right, the Zimmies, we're gonna play some hide and seek today. I don't know if any of the rest of you have done that yet, but in our round that we're gonna do, Lainey is gonna be our counter, and, and Lex and Kylie and I are gonna go hide. Okay, you ready? All right, let's go. Five, six, 27, 28, 29, 30. Ready or not, here I come! Oh, oh, that was a good spot! No, I think I hit somebody in the bathroom. Let's see. Obviously, you check over here first. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay. It's only Kylie left. I wonder where she is. I heard that! She's upstairs. Have you ever felt like you were playing hide and seek with God? I know I have. There's times where I have felt like because of the, um, the sin in my life that um, I didn't want God to know me. I didn't want him to really be around. And also there's times in life where just the, the stress and the worry, they make me feel like I've become isolated and like I don't really know if God even sees me in this dark place. But I really would like to be found. Maybe you've felt one of those things before. But Psalm 139 is a great place to go if that's how you've ever felt. Because David expresses some really beautiful truths for us to remember. In verse 7, David says this, Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I take the wings of morning, if I dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there, your right hand, it leads me and shall hold me. That's pretty powerful. David is saying, there's nowhere I can go where God can't find me. And he becomes comforted by that. Then he even goes into saying that not only can God see us from the outside, but God sees us on the inside. It says that God even made our innermost parts in innermost parts. He knows us at the deepest place. He even knows our thoughts before one comes to be. And when David comes to that realization, he comes to another point too. He says that he recognizes that he now should be honest about the dark stuff in him, that he needs to get it out and expose it to the light. And so he starts to tell God in this psalm about people in his life that are very difficult for him to deal with. And he uses some harsh language even to describe that. Uh, you can go read it for yourself. It's in verses 19 through 22. And he's basically saying, there's people I wish that you'd do away with, God. That's some dark stuff. Maybe you've dealt with some dark, difficult feelings of fear or worry or anxiety. But guess what? God knows it. So you can say it to him. But David lands at the end of this in this beautiful place where he says this prayer that maybe can be our prayer of surrender. Search me, O God. Know my heart. Try me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there's any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. David is crying out that he knows God knows him and will come find him and will lead him to the best place to be. And maybe that can be our prayer today. If you feel like you're playing hide and seek with God, ask him to come find you and lead you in the way everlasting. God bless you. Have a great day, friends. Kylie, what does it feel like to be the winner? It's not really the first time that I've been the winner, but it feels fun. <laughs>